Welcome to Mommy's Chef, and I want to do like a little video of like I went to Costco and then I was loading up my things in my freezer in the back. When I came home, usually my husband puts away the things, and I went to the freezer and everything was storing correctly. And the reason that it's important for you to store things correctly is because of safety reasons. Because if anything were to drip, uh, let's say chicken drips on fish. It's not going to cook the bacteria of the chicken. So fish cooks 140 something. You can eat raw fish. So, I mean, you have no problem. So therefore, we, we use a method. Chefs use a method of storing things. And if you were to come to a restaurant or whatever, uh, this is how things would be stored. And if they weren't stored like that, you would get an ass. So a lot of restaurants have bad ratings because of that. And a lot of temperature issues also. But that could really get you sick, so that's why I'm like, even when I go to a restaurant, I do not know what to can ever, <laughs> or salads, because salads could, uh, can have cross-contamination. Cross I'm going to show you how you properly store things, and it's according to the temperature on which things cook. So, the last thing would be chicken. 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 They were kind of out of stuff. <laughs> And um, hello, how are you? Yeah, thank you. There you go. Okay, now you get a better view. A lot of wine, cheese sticks, salmon, some stuff for the kids, butter, turmeric. We make a lot of teas, or white beans, and a bunch of stuff. Filipino, I can't live without it. The kids love that pasta. Eggs, apple, pineapple, onions. There's some ginger for teas. Okay. Yeah, they put it all organized for me. It's so sweet. We're in my garage, and this is my upright freezer, and we have a problem. The thing is that uh, things aren't stored properly. The thing is that you want to keep things safe, and by and you do that by storing it according to the temperature that things are cooked so if you're like a food inspector goes to your restaurant or whatever they want to see fish beef and then chicken on the bottom because it would if anything whether they were to drip you want that to be cooked so fish has a low temperature of cooking to kill the bacteria then you have beef and and then you have chicken which is the highest so 165 is for chicken and to kill actual salmonella and uh, everything's stored correctly because i usually give i go shopping and i give the stuff to my husband he usually sets this up i got this fish from a client of my mom's he sent it over from alaska actually so i was happy about that and now i'm gonna just store everything and i'm gonna show you how it uh is supposed to be done i have some trader joe's things whenever i don't have time to cook or i don't get home on time i tell my husband to start one of these he doesn't have a problem making that um because he can't really cook it <laughs> okay so let's start it's better so whatever's already cooked i have a lasagna as a prep meal that's already cooked on top you got waffles butter and then some vegetables and the vegetables too on top of the fish so i have some um some argentine and shrimp here some more fish in the back and then you want to do then you want to do your beef um it would go pork and then beef i usually don't buy too much pork all i do is i have a little bit of bacon and of that and these are my ground beef then you want to do your chicken Here's my whole chickens. There's more like chicken legs in the back. And there's like a baby chicken. And my little like already made me meals from Trader Joe's. The kids love these. <laughs> I don't need them, but they do. In case like of an emergency is good to have. An emergency I mean by like me not getting home on time. <laughs> so to cook something or I didn't take something out. Who knows? We usually maybe every, every two weeks we have one of those. If it's a crazy week, maybe once a week. But I definitely like to keep it on my hand. Ah, uh, these and these I don't have room for, so I'm gonna have to I have another little fridge right here. So I think I'm gonna stick these over there. Okay, this is my other fridge, so I didn't have room for my ice cream. And then I have like some pre-made key lime pies right there because I went on a 
and I don't know we've never eaten these I don't know if I should keep them because I don't think the kids like them very much and some uh, chorizo for like um, breakfast burritos more butter because I bake a lot and then chicken chicken um, whatever those are called just in case the kids get hungry and then this fridge I'm not gonna show you because it's like chaotic <sighs> on the bottom <laughs> I'm just gonna try to stick some stuff in there I'll show you when it's done because I don't kind of embellish. <laughs> okay, so here I put whatever doesn't fit in my regular fridge. I have um, some peppers, extra yogurt, eggs for, what does that call? <laughs> for everything, I guess. And then some cheese. Oh, I forgot I had this. Okay, I should probably take this inside. Some uh, carrots for juicing and you always need carrots peppers you always need peppers I think I'm gonna make that because I think it's gonna go bad So I'm gonna stick some more vegetables that I bought at all these and then it's done I'm gonna take these inside so I can roast them and then get these as the kids for snacks or whatever So I decided to make these for when they get back to school Hopefully they like it. I don't think I've tried these but they've been there for a while, so let's just empty out the fridge freezer. Put in some uh, mandarins. Those last a while in the fridge. Any citrus fruit, so try to keep them in the fridge if you're not going to eat them right away. And then some zucchinis. They had a good deal at Aldi. It was like 40 cents for zucchini, so I'm going to make some stuffed zucchinis. 40 cents for three. Can you believe that? Insane. I went crazy. <laughs> I have these as a backup just in case the kids want hamburgers or whatever and then potatoes i try to keep them potatoes because in the fridge because in my house uh, they sprout right away so after they sprout i usually plant them so yeah that's pretty good what else? yeah i'm gonna make a list of things of meal things that i'm gonna do because i don't want this to go to waste and i really need to meal plan so i can make um some breakfast burritos for my son yeah i'm pretty happy it's not aesthetically beautiful but whatever it's the fridge <laughs> it's like uh safety wise it's really set up nicely you know <laughs> i'm happy the little things are right? <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching try to subscribe i hope this was helpful especially the order in which things should be stored in your freezer and uh see you guys next time love you bye Oh, try to subscribe and like the video. <laughs>